Hey you guys, I am so excited to get on here and share with you guys all about Creator Wave. It was just such an epic trip. Before I kind of dive into today's vlog, I do wanna say a big thank you to Earth Harbor. Earth Harbor is a sustainable plant-based company, a beauty company that reached out to us when they found out about this trip and they were like, we wanna get involved. They did something so very special for our guests that I think made the trip very memorable. Um, and you will have to wait till day three to learn about what Earth Harbor did. So thank you to the Earth Harbor team for supporting the Sidewalker team and the Creator Wave event. All right, Creator Wave recap vlog. Let's get into it. I had the best five nights of my life, literally, came back a new woman. If you don't know what I'm talking about and you're like, what is this woman rambling? Creator Wave was the first ever creator retreat that our team put on. So first of all, it was not a conference, so to speak, you know, where you're just like in a little room with like your notebook. Like we didn't, those exist. God bless them. We love them. We go to them. We didn't want that. We're just like about fun. Learning is important and that's what we built our company on. I have my MBA, Clarice has her law degree, but we were like, we need to have fun with these people and we need to like have experiences with them and shoot content with them and like just make it so much more than just learning because learning happens in those small moments. Our team took like a bunch of time and resources to put together this retreat and here's how it went down. So we started the trip off by getting to the port of Miami where we were going to be boarding Virgin Voyages on a five night cruise. We met the guest speakers there and we got in before the guests did. So we had to get on to look at the meeting space. And then after that, we had like this meetup that happened before the sail away party. This is kind of where everyone had the opportunity to quickly meet before the sail away, which is an epic, like basically dance party on the top deck as you're leaving the Port of Miami. Beautiful, we were all had just so much fun dancing and like there was like people doing the conga line and there was people, it was just awesome. Champagne toast, really having fun as we're sailing out. And then after the Sidewalker team, we had like a private event towards the back of the ship. It was more intimate. It was only open for our people that, you know, our attendees. We did like some sort of bingo, like creator wave bingo, so people get to know each other. And it was really sweet. I did like a mini little speech, um, but it was really sweet because that was the only opportunity people are gonna be able to meet before shows, dinner, and the learning the next day. Like we needed a time for people to like get to know each other. So the welcome party was that. Then we went to a really fun show on the ship. It was called the Misbehave Show. It was literally freaking hilarious, amazing icebreaker. People were like crying, laughing. One of the girls like was doing like splits on stage. So that was epic. And what do we do after? Oh, dinner. We had like an amazing Mexican dinner. And that's one thing about Virgin Voyages that is the chef's kiss is their food. Like the food was just delicious. So we started the night off with a really beautiful meal. And then after dinner, there was the Virgin Voyages pajama party. So it's like an adult PJ party. And it's so fun because obviously there's no kids on the ship. So it really makes for just like a funny little end of evening, like nice thing. But imagine you have the meet and greet, the sail away, the welcome party, a show, dinner, and a pajama party. Like it is a lot. So people are like, oh my God, this is obviously very heavy, but you don't have to do all the events. You can choose whatever you want it to come to. So yeah, that was our first night. Then the next day started off with a hilarious icebreaker. Our team did a private 80s workout class. So this is one of the things that Virgin Voyages is known for. They have this really fun 80s workouts, like Richard Simmons workout where you know you're just in 80s clothes and the workout's very 80s-esque and that was so fun everyone had a blast and imagine these are a bunch of content creators so it makes for epic content um we were just not only working out together we were all dressed up in our 80s gear like everyone was just laughing and it just created so much fun like it started the day off really really strong because people were like this is fun you know they got to have fun in the morning working out in their outfits and like we all had our 80s gear it was just it was really cute then that day was the first learning day 
and it was about four and a half, five hours of learning in a meeting space. So I started off by talking about the brand perspective. I wanted to share some of my brand clients, like what I do for them so that the creators in the room could kind of have that brand inside perspective. Monet, who is from The Traveling Child, she is a wealth of knowledge when it comes to negotiating, advocating for yourself, standing up for your worth. I mean, the woman is so successful, so smart, so brilliant. So her session was a very eye-opening because it was like all example-based. Um, after Monet's session, we broke off for lunch and then we had Sandy and Jimmy from Trying Something New. They are like viral superstars. I think they have over 3 million followers. They know exactly how to go viral, how to grow. So they taught like short form video and like growth strategies. So people were really pumped about that because obviously we all want to learn how to like grow our accounts. And then Michael Moretti, who is a really talented videographer and photographer that I have hired on multiple shoots for my brand clients, he taught us the value of high quality content and truly how to shoot like quality content, not that fast one five second, you know, what we call kind of like fast food content. So really epic from a learning perspective. I think people's minds were blown because the guest speakers are really, really smart. Not only are they really smart, they're just all very successful and they all have a lot to share. So then after the learning, a, f a few of us, we did like this reflection. So Kamei Caldwell from Hooray Kamei. She is one of our inner circle members. She is a creator in the bra fitting space. She is just a breath of fresh air, lovely, again, super dynamic. She hosted this like reflection circle for us. And this was meant to be very more like meditative, journaling, um, kind of just peeling back the layers, you know, that we all put on as content creators. It was a very emotional space. I'm not allowed to share like too much what happened in there, but it was transformative to say the least. I think for some people it's probably the best part of the trip. For me, it was very, very moving. I was a disaster mess, like bawled my eyes out. Um, but yeah, it really struck home and just like gave people something really deep. It wasn't just like fun, 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 party, 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 learn, learn, learn. Like, hey, we need to do the inner work. Um, so I love that we incorporated that into the program. Then that evening, some people went to go watch different shows. We all did a group dinner. We had Korean barbecue, which is obviously freaking delicious. Like I love Korean food. Korean barbecue, super fun. It's done in small groups. Again, people are getting to know each other, build those bonds of friendship. And I remember someone came up to Monet that day and was like, if the trip ended right now, I would have gotten my money's worth. She said that 24 hours later. So we were like, that's amazing. That's a freaking win. The next day, which was day three, was when we got to Mexico. So this was the port day. Our team had a excursion planned, a private excursion through a third party vendor to do private catamarans. And this is where we took like an hour bus to the Bacalar Lagoon. But basically it was just like this environmental protected area. This lagoon is gorgeous, it's freshwater. It was just epic. We took three catamarans, you know, there was mango and there was guacamole and those who drank had tequila and drinks. And we just like were swimming for hours on end. We went to two different spots. The excursion was so lovely because we were not learning or working. We were just like out in nature together, traveling. Like our tour guides were super kind. Um, we got really lucky with weather. It was just beautiful on the catamaran, like the water. Um, a lot of creators got some epic drone footage. So all in all that day was just lovely. And I think really special because people got to travel together and see a different part of Mexico that many of us haven't been to. Now, this is where I think the Sidewalker team got so lucky. So we partnered with Earth Harbor. So Earth Harbor is this beauty brand. And when they found out we were doing this retreat, they reached out to us, which is always amazing when brands find you and want to align themselves with you. We knew that they were going to be a great fit because first of all, we were going on a cruise like to tropical destinations and they're all about like not harnessing the natural power of like the ocean and the earth. They are a company that's ethical, safe. They have sustainability at the forefront of all their products. And they're just like plant-based skincare. They were founded by a uh, toxicologist. So like we knew their products and they smell delicious. It's exactly the type of brand we would want to partner with. So. 
This is where it was super epic. So the guests are all in Mexico, like doing all their stuff. And we were able to arrange um, with Earth Harbor and the Virgin housekeeping team to like have gifts for all the attendees like in their room. So when they got back from like a day of being in the ocean in the sun, they were greeted with this beautiful like gift box that had all these lovely products inside. And it's not just, you know, hey, beauty influencers, like they wanted to be a part of this trip support getting creators together in real life and to getting involved like that to me is just like really epic so once we got back from costa maya we had some downtime like very little and then we had a photo shoot with michael on the top deck so there's this epic virgin sign on the very top deck and we knew this is scarlet night because it's the third night of the trip which is their all red party on virgin voyages like we all had our all red looks we knew we were going to be like all dressed up in red and we wanted these epic shots and michael so graciously donated his time to get photos of everyone on the top deck in their red looks and like we had a total fashion show up there like everyone got their shots which was so lovely. Like I felt like a superstar. There was crazy amounts of wind, um, but that did not stop us because the photos turned out amazing. People were so grateful. And it was just fun shooting content all together up there. So after we did our little photo shoot with Michael, we all headed to dinner. And that was, like I said, Scarlet Night, which was the big party on the ship. It was, I don't know, maybe it's like the inner party girl in me, but to me, it was like one of the most funnest, I don't know if that's a word, nights ever. We were dancing, people were in the pool. We were just like having so much fun. Like when I tell you the energy was 10 out of 10, like I felt like a kid again. I was like, this is insane. We just connected in such a way. Now mind you, we have been together already for two nights. This is our third night. So people were just having a blast on the ship. It was, I think a 10 out of 10 experience and seeing people like in the pool, seeing people having those moments and that fun together was really, really special to witness. I'm not gonna lie, the inner dancer in me came out. I was dancing up a storm. So Scarlet Night was night three. The next day was a sea day again. So back to learning, which is the big part of the trip. So we had a second learning day. Um, the second learning day was also really, really exciting and awesome because there was an interactive element to the learning where we asked attendees, to create short form video. And if they wanted to share it, they could. Like we were all cheering for each other. So it was really fun to see the content people were able to create based off the skills that they learned. So it's kind of like a little bit of a show and tell. All the speakers did office hours. So we all got individual time with all the attendees to help them with their one-on-one -on -one situations. And there was a panel that we answered like top level questions that everyone could kind of listen to. So the second C day, was all about learning and it was just really epic as well. It was a lot of, um, just a lot of learning. That afternoon there was downtime, people got to just kind of chill. Um, obviously we do dinner together as a group every night, which was really lovely being able to see everyone for group dinner. And then the last day, the fifth day was in the Bahamas. We were in Bimini, again, so lucky with the weather. A few creators did their own excursions. Like some people did the stingray excursion where they got to swim with stingrays. I know Sandy and Jimmy did the shark excursion where they got to swim with sharks. So crazy. So that was really fun for the people that were able to do those excursions. The water was beautiful. The Sidewalker team and all the creators Creator wave attendees like we did our own <laughs> we did like a photo shoot at the back like we thought we were like freaking celebrities over here people are like who are these people like just taking pictures all the time in video but it is a creator retreat like we are here to get content so there was a lots of content being made at Bimini on the beach because of course the water is gorgeous we had an amazing time at the beach club at the Virgin um, Bimini Beach Club like food is included so it's kind of like an extension of the ship and it was our last day. So there was kind of just like some, you know, it's kind of like, oh my God, it's ending, you know? But we just had an epic day on the beach. Like it was so amazing being in that blue water together, all of us just having the time of our life. I wanna go back, take me back. It was so good. And after we did our beach day, we had a group dinner and we ended the trip with a surprise, which I can't even share with you guys because um, some things are just not meant to be shared with everyone. And that was kind of the statement that we shared. There were no phones allowed. There was no video footage allowed. And that's how we closed out the trip with a very private exclusive event for the Creator Wave attendees. And yeah, it was a surprise and a secret. And I hope that it remains a secret so that if we do it again, 
you know, you guys will not know until you know. Um, speaking of doing it again, a lot of people have asked me, Nina, are you gonna do this again? And we do have a wait list starting. So if you are interested in being a part of it, go ahead and put your name on this wait list. If you wanna meet creators in real life, if this trip looked fun to you, if you wanna be a part of our next one, um, the people on the wait list will be the first people to find out and the trip will be first come first serve. We sold out this time and we expect to sell out now again. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed seeing this epic trip that we did. It was a huge blessing for our team to be able to execute at this level. It was a very highly high produced event in the sense that there was a lot of logistics and a lot of coordinating for our team but it was epic and we hope you guys enjoyed watching it and seeing all the love that was poured into this event.